you very much, Bishop. Oh no. Yes, you showed us that we are our president who values families. And today, when we are holding this festival of families, yes, we are. And you have given us a good example of your own family to your Excellency. In the meantime, as you reach puberty, please, you are not a married man at puberty or a married woman. You should not engage in sex. Akakufuru. Akakufuru Musibe Wali You look at that that part of the of the area. Are you hearing me? You are pretending not to hear me. Mwefuran Tetumura Jaja Vyagamba. I'm telling you that don't try to be a wife when you are not married. And don't try to be a husband when you are not married. A, hus a husband, what, what are you now? Olikuchi. Okumaranga kora evitarimichigendelelua to do things which have no purpose. So you should concentrate on your studies. You study. You do sports. Sports is very good to, to build up stamina. But also use that youth, youthful energy. The youthful energy, don't put it in Wamaraya. Put it in sports and study. Then when you finish your education, may I encourage young people to get married. 22, 23 there, it's our Then you can get a family and you plan. Then you can have sex for a long time. And you start at 23. By the time you are 90, how much will you have had? Is that not a long time? But for you, Okujavira, Okujavira to, to, to stampede. And you start having sex when you are 14, 15, 16. And then you get AIDS. And then you get sick. Or you get into problems. You will be miserable for all your life. Kati Chibarao, Chibaro Banangi. The Bible says there is time for everything. Uh, there is time for 
omwana si mukazi omwana si mwami omwana lokole byabana omukuru na kole byabakuru omungeri esani de Wonderful, wonderful history is in the making and the heavens are open. We thank you, Your Excellency. We thank you, Excellency. We thank you, Excellency. His Excellency is signing and say amen to your neighbor. Amen, your, your Excellency. We thank you. We thank you for signing and taking Uganda to lead Africa in launching the vision statement for an African civilization. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you, Excellency. We would like to hand over the award to you, a gift to appreciate Uganda in the heart of the world, that indeed you are a father of the nation, whose stature and identity is defined today. We want to hand over this important, important heavenly item to you by Dr. Hyunjin Priston Moon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, this, the, the very last item will be a photo moment, but Your Excellency, God's family plan. Families on the pillars of the spiritual foundation. Fathers play a vital part in the Lord's Father, Jesus, God to tear, provide, and protect. Two loving mothers, bear the children and the children. We must go on together as one, together as one. We must go on, on, on. We must move on and thrive together as one nation because Uganda is one. The only one in Africa. We must move on and thrive together as one nation because Uganda is one. The only one in this world. With abundant resources, let's all come together to promote the welfare of our families and develop their social economic status through the government program. We must go on, we must go on, we must go on together as one, together as one, we must go on. On, on. We must move on and thrive together as one nation because Uganda is one. The only one in Africa, we must move on and thrive together as one nation because Uganda is one. The only one in this world. I believe that through unity and oneness of purpose, Ugandans from every sphere of society can work together to reposition and redeem our rich African culture for the benefit of the younger generation. In this regard, the government has put in place policy frameworks, institutions and legislation such as the Traditional and Cultural Leaders Act. And this is a significant entry point for cultural institutions to advocate for and strengthen the, pos the, the positive cultural norms, values, and customs, which have always been the hallmark of the African family and its heritage. I therefore appeal to religious and cultural leaders who are government's significant partners in strengthening the family unit to promote the coexistence of positive cultural and religious values and beliefs for the good of our society. Similarly, we all have a duty to purge out of our society cultures that are offensive and that corrupt our people. We must also guard our society against the horrendous practices of defilement child sacrifice and molestation in the name of fulfilling culture.
appeal to all Ugandans and everybody gathered here today and those who are not even here but perhaps listening or watching to make the effort to teach and model these positive values for the benefit of the next generation and for our children to have role models to look up to. Through these efforts and by the grace of God, we will progressively witness families and the nation devoid of vices such as juvenile delinquence, moral decadence, corruption, and substance abuse. These are some of the vices that have torn asunder the African family unit. 